So this happened. Afraid! Italian metal band Nana War of Steel released their rather scandalous Iron Maiden tribute, which I assume they came up with like this. Hey guys, do and do an Iron Maiden cover? Sure, that's a great idea. Which song? All of them. Now, I have to point out that I never really was a fan of Nana War of Steel. I guess I'm just one of those metalheads who really takes his metal seriously. But then I realized that, hey, I love Spinal Tap, and Nana War of Steel is basically Italian Spinal Tap on steroids who are cranking their goofiness to 11. These go to 11. So after roughly gazillion people sent me this song, I finally checked out Afraid to Shoot into the Eyes of a Stranger in a Strange Land, and boy did it crack me up! The song opens with a rather familiar riff to every Iron Maiden fan, borrowed from Brave New World's song Blood Brothers. We are Blood Brothers! And just running a little bit ahead of myself here, this entire track does not only have rather obvious references to Iron Maiden work in its lyrics, which I hope was pretty understandable from its title, but basically is composed out of the bits of multiple songs from the Iron Maiden catalog. So I know that many said that this song is the best song Iron Maiden ever wrote, a statement with which I completely disagree, because if you think about it, Iron Maiden actually did write this song. <laughs> After the Blood Brothers like open and melody, Nana War of Steel transitioned to a virtual 11 mashup, combining the future reel and lightning strikes twice melodies into one main guitar riff. After which we finally get to the best part. It's lyrics. And this is where it gets hilarious. As literally every word from this song has been taken from an Iron Maiden repertoire, and Nana War of Steel were somehow actually able to make it work. So let's take a look at it. The band starts with the lyrics from the 1983 track Flight of Icarus, after which mentions the songs Waste in Love and Women in Uniform, basically stating that the main protagonist has been flying as high as the sun while hanging out with women in uniform. And that right away comes honestly my favorite part of the song, with the lyrics Run to the hills, run from your wife, caught somewhere in 22 Acacia Avenue. So, just in case for those who don't know, 22 Acacia Avenue is not just a name of any random Iron Maiden song, but also happens to be the address of the infamous Charlotte the Hallett, who, by the way, will appear very soon in this track. So, basically, instead of running to the hills from the Conquistadors, the main protagonist is forced to run to the hills from his wife, who caught him at a brothel. <laughs> In the pre-chorus, we have references to Be Quick or Be Dead, Loneliness of a Long Distance Runner, No Prayer for the Dying, Run to the Hills, and Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. And interestingly enough, up until this part, all of those song titles actually formed rather funny, but still very cohesive lyrics, telling an unpleasant story of a long distance runner actually being a husband running away from his wife. Be quick. Then comes the chorus, and with it comes a realization of something I never actually noticed before. How many songs Iron Maiden have with the word strange in its title? Afraid to Shoot Strangers has of course been taken from the album Fear of the Dark, Don't Look to the Eyes of a Stranger from Virtual Eleven, Strange World from the band's debut, and Stranger in a Strange Land, of course from our beloved Somewhere in Time, which has finally started seeing some justice last year. With the second verse, the song has taken a rather unexpected twist. In the first half of the verse, Nana War of Steel once again referenced the song's Flash of the Blades, Ace is High, Run and Free, and Man on the Edge. And actually, Blaze Bailey himself who sang that song. But in all honesty, it doesn't really make much sense to me. 
or I simply couldn't connect the dots here. But afterwards, through the mansion of the sons, children of the damned, virus, the number of the beast, rhyme of the ancient mariner, and fear of the dark, we learned that Charlotte Hallett actually has many kids from her and divorce, and also might have accidentally caught and passed along some unpleasant illnesses. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, the number 166, which appears in the video, according to my Italian friends, is actually a number one used to call back in the day to have some fun time with a woman on the phone. So hey, it looks like in addition to the address, we now also know Charlotte's number. But anyways, in addition to that, until the end of the song, we also get references to Can I Play With Madness, Hallowed Be Thy Name, The Trooper, and Only The Good Die Young, resulting in the long distance runner eventually dying from the virus he caught from Charlotte the Hallet. But as I mentioned before, in addition to the lyrics, even musically, this entire song is basically composed out of the bits of the Iron Maiden catalog. But at the same time, they are not really taken note by note from the Iron Maiden songs, but rather are done in a way of a tribute to those. It's, a, it's an homage dressed yeah. up as a, or a homage. As a woman. Or a homage, yeah. It opens with Blood Brothers, continues with multiple virtual level references, and later on also borrows from Somewhere in Time, before exploding in the guitar solo, which, let's be honest here, is basically a tribute to Iron Maiden's legendary The Trooper. But the coolest thing is that the level of detailing in imitation of Iron Maiden on this track is actually pretty impressive. And it is actually audible in pretty much everything, starting with the guitars, the harmonies, the tempo, the actual guitar solos, and what is most importantly, the actual song structure. Which, whether you like this track or not, this is not an evaluation at this point. But if you are an Iron Maiden fan, let's be honest here, will be rather familiar to you. So here's the thing. Whether you're a fan or not, doesn't matter. At this point, heads off to Nanowar of Steel for being able to capture the feel of one of the greatest heavy metal bands on the planet. <laughs> some Iron Maiden fans were actually literally offended by the Nano War of Steel tribute or a parody of the Iron Maiden work, which in all honesty, I don't actually understand. I mean, if you ask me, I find it rather hilarious. It's like if you read Rob Halford's Confess, you know that in 1984, when Spinal Tap came out, many metalheads were leaving the cinemas amidst the screening because they were literally offended by this film, when most of the metal musicians whom this movie was making fun of abso freaking lutely loved it. And to me, it's exactly the same thing when it comes to afraid to shoot into the eyes of a stranger in a strange land, as Nano War of Steel were actually able to showcase a pretty impressive attention to details, and I, as I hope that most of you guys know, a huge Iron Maiden fan, in no way feel offended by it, I take the song as a fun, light-hearted tribute to one of the greatest heavy metal bands to ever walk this earth. But anyways, what do you guys personally think about Afraid to Shoot into the Eyes of a Stranger in a Strange Land? Did you get offended by it or did you enjoy this track? And what do you think about inviting the guys from Nano War of Steel on the show to talk about this and any other of their songs in the future? Please let us know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching the short video, guys, and more than anything, thank you so much for supporting me, this show, and Ukraine through this incredibly difficult time. World prevail. Slava Ukraine.